lovely to see everybody. Thank you guys for coming out to the show here on Valentine's Day. Romance is in the air. I'm looking out there, and I can tell you guys tonight, you guys are going to have some really perfunctory sex. That's right. We're going to do it like it's a cultural obligation. Yeah. Valentine's Day. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming out. A uh, bit of a weird mood. I was having lunch at Panera Bread. I don't want to brag, but um, I'm the kind of guy who can afford to eat a Panera Bread. I don't want to rub that in anyone's face. That is when I'm not eating at pret a manger. I'm always pret for a little manger. But on this particular day, I was at Panera, and uh, I was sitting in the front window enjoying my bacon, turkey, bravo, panini. And seriously, bravo. And it was very distracting because there was a teenager out on the sidewalk and he had a skateboard in his hands and it was broken. It was in like a V shape and he was just staring down at this broken skateboard and his eyes were welling up and I could tell that he was about to cry. And it just made my day. It made me feel so good. Do you ever just delight in the misfortune of a stranger? Yes. More of that, please. I don't feel like I used to be like that, man. I've come to the sad conclusion that I'm a, like a like a B minus human being. <laughs> you ever think about that? Like what grade you deserve morally? I'm like a report card that your parents would sign, but not joyfully. <laughs> like you're not gonna get grounded, but nobody's getting a McFlurry out of this. <laughs> there will be no trip to Six Flags. Like I'm polite by nature. Like I'll hold a door for people. Like if I'm ever walking out of a store and you're walking in, I will hold the door open for you. A hundred times out of a hundred, I will hold the door. However, if you do not acknowledge that I'm holding the door, I will say, you're welcome. <laughs> so that's a B minus. That's what I call a B minus. Just everybody, right now, take inventory to yourselves. What, do you, what grade do you think you deserve as a human being? Any A's? Anyone give yourselves an A? All right, good. No sociopaths. That's always a good sign. What about A minus? I'm gonna isolate the best person here. Any A minuses? Do I hear B plus? Do I hear B plus? Okay, all right, okay. A few B pluses, which makes you know they really think they're A minuses, because that's just human nature. I don't want to look like an ass, so I'll wait till B plus, but I think we both know I'm an A minus. Even B plus is rather bold, and you can consider that A is like Gandhi, Martin Luther King. You're, you guys are two steps from Gandhi? Wait, you guys know that this is a comedy show and not a soup kitchen, right? Like, there is charity we could all be out doing right now. We're not, we're here. So let's take B plus off the table. I'm skeptical, you, you said you were a B plus. If you don't mind me asking, miss, you said you were a B plus. What is it that you do for a living? I get the feeling this is gonna be good. I'm sorry. But, but what do you do for a living though? I'm a stay-at-home mom. You're a stay-at-home mom. B plus, huh? Um, okay, that's... It's nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom. It's just not exactly Doctors Without Borders, is it? Uh, do you guys know Doctors Without Borders? Those guys going to war zones and stuff? Man, gotta admire those guys. Those dudes watch like no Netflix at all. Listen, I get it. It's 2019. It is very tempting in this climate to want to grade yourself on a curve. That's why I watch the news every day, just as a method of self-care. It's all right, I'm not perfect, but I'm not that. Now you probably think, oh, he's probably talking about Donald Trump. Well, very perceptive. Good for you. Very perceptive on your part. Everybody thinks Donald Trump is the reason things are screwed up. He's not, he's not the reason. He's the result. We've hated each other for a long time in this country. We're like a couple who should have broken up a long time ago. And the only reason we live together is because we're on the lease. Nobody wants to pay the security deposits. We're just gonna hope it magically works itself out. You know who doesn't seem as silly to me anymore? Doomsday preppers. Remember how ridiculous those guys used to seem? Like, <laughs> look at that weirdo with the beard and the bomb shelter. Now I'm like, wait, so how far below ground does that need to be? So what is the proper jar size for urine storage? I don't care, I'm gonna be around, man. 
Your time is limited.